Hello, this is Jason with Noob Tech, and I'm here to review Dark Red Blend California. It's a head snapper wine. Now it's about ten bucks at Tom Thumb. It's got a uh, screw on top, not a real cork, but that's okay because cork's running out. I like the graphics. The name is there to uh, for the shock value. Head snapper. I guess to snap the neck, but maybe she's so pretty that your head snaps around to see her. I don't know. It's a cool graphics. Um, it's pretty good. It's it's a ten dollar wine. It's okay. You always have to let them breathe, or else they'll taste like they haven't sat for too long. This doesn't even have a vintage to it. But uh, it's ten dollars. It's not bad for ten dollars. I probably wouldn't buy it again, but um, you may like it. So, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll let you know when I find a really good ten dollar bottle of wine. This is not it, but I'm gonna keep looking for you. Okay, now, I want to talk to you about, what do I want to talk to you about? The coronavirus? Talk to you so much about the coronavirus. Um... can't think of anything um, okay something intelligent that you can bring up at parties and impress people um, okay a vaccine the coronavirus has a vaccine coming out everybody's putting all their chips on this vaccine all their hopes and dreams on this vaccine and they've found out that the antibodies only stay around for a couple months, a few months, after you get sick from the coronavirus. So I don't really understand how a vaccine is going to work if the antibodies only stay in your body for a while. So I think it's just going to be like a flu. I mean, I can, I can tell you the means, the mean side, the mean side is that, um, people with compromised immune systems and the super elderly are gonna be thinned out by the herd. And uh, the rest of us are hopefully going to be asymptomatic. And some people are going to have lifelong problems with uh, heart, inflammation, lungs, brain. All this news we've heard about it just makes it sound terrible. We may just have to live with it. I mean... I was thinking about this today. Imagine the Black Death trying to figure out what caused it. And it's really the, uh, the fleas on a rat. Imagine trying to protect against fleas on a rat when you don't know what's causing it or how it's being transmitted. You're wearing masks and it's not doing any good because it's really the fleas from the rat that are landing on you and biting you and causing the black death oh my god 
What a horrible thing that must have been to try to unravel how you got the. I bet that I bet they didn't figure that out to like a hundred years after it went away by itself. Anyway, like my uh, video and sub subscribe to my channel, and um, I will research more topics for you to learn. And so you can talk to them, so you can bring them up at parties and impress people with your intelligence. Uh, have a good night. Thank you. Bye.